Hey guys, today I'm gonna be simply doing a unboxing the high chair, which is from Greco, and I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. Here's the Greco Blossom LX 16-in-1 high chair. There are a total of six stages you can set it up. So first stage is infant high chair with recline. The second stage is traditional high chair. Third stage is infant booster. Fourth stage is toddler booster chair. Fifth stage is youth chair. And the sixth stage is six, two kids at once. All right, let's see what's in the box. So after unboxing, what we have here is the chair itself, the tray, removable back seat insert, infant seat back, infant seat base, and infant seat footrest right here. On this side is body support, a basket, and wheels, two wheels for the uh, chair. First, we are going to assemble the youth chair. So, grab the rear leg and insert the wheels into the holes. They are snapping wheels. So, what's the next step? So, turn the youth chair around. All right. And then we are going to put the rear leg into the chair. So, in order to do that, there are two holes located right here that we need to insert those two bars into. So line up the uh, this red bar, uh, knobs right here and then just push it all the way in. And then push the red knob to insert it to all the way in. And then all click in. That completes this step. Next, we are going to put the footrest into the back of the seat. So here is the footrest. We are going to align it there are a few slots, it will go over, all of these hooks will go over those slots and then snap in. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we will align them, just put them on top of them and then just snap them in. And this is secure. Next, we are going to insert the footrest cover. So this two end will go up right here in these two slots. And there are three screws that will be inserted right here in three holes right here. So first, let's align them. And it's, it's aligned. And let me make sure. It's all lined and snapped in. We are going to put the three screws into the screw holes. Yeah, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for this one. We have tightened all three screws. Now we are going to put the chair upright for the next part. Now we are going to insert the footrest. There are three adjustable height. We are just going to put it in the lowest the one. What you want to do is make sure this flat side with this uh, angle is pointing up, goes insert that part into it. And the, the back, the, the concave inside, make sure that points downward onto the floor. First, we are going to insert it perpendicular and then to secure it, we are just going to pull it down and that will snap it, secure it. There, there we you go. go. It's so, all done. 
All right, we're done with that step. Um, so we're gonna move on to the next step. So we're gonna put this aside um, for now. We're gonna come back to it. Next, we are going to do the infant seat assembly. So get grab the base and the back and the seat cushion. All right, so for this step, what do you need to do is you need to grab the back and there are two rollers kind of looking right here, plastic knobs on each side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be inserting that into this hole right here and there's another one hole in right here. So we're gonna align those two and then I'm gonna squeeze as hard as I can and then slide it down. Before you slide it down, you wanna make sure there's a red knob on the back of the seat. You wanna pull that up and then you should be able to slide all the way to the top of the hole and then it should just click. And the red knob I was talking about is this one right here. What it does is just to adjust the, uh, the elevation for the back. So you can make it taller, all the way to the tallest, and then there are three levels. All right, and then next we're gonna insert the cushion. So we are going to grab the seat cover and put this webbing and insert them these two slots, one and two. They are tying slots right under the seat back on the base of the seat. In order to do that, first what you need to do is take this bottom gray base out. There are two red buttons. There's one here on this side and there's one on the other side. You're gonna push those to pull this base out. Once you do that, it becomes a lot easier to insert this seat webbing into these two holes right here at the bottom of the seat. So let's do that. We are going to insert it and then pull it from the back. That's what it should look like after you pull it. It should become flush with the uh, bottom. Okay, now I'm going to insert the second webbing into the second slot. Okay, and let's pull it from the back. There we go. That's now we are going to pull all this strap through the holes in the seat cover. Okay, now we are going to turn this around. Now we are going to put this on the back. So let's pull it over the back. Let's see. Of the seat. There we go. All right. Let's secure the seat pad to the bottom with these hooks. So there are two hooks that goes on to the bottom surface right here and here into the two gaps. So let's do that. Okay, that's done. Now we are going to insert the seat pad flaps into the armrest. Let's insert them onto the side. Okay, that's all done. Next, we are going to put the body support on top of the seat cover. We're just going to put it and pull all four straps from the back. So all four straps are pulled in. Uh, let's assemble these straps. The top one and the bottom one on the left side, we will insert it like this. From the base of the seat, um, just pull the strap and on the left side of that strap, they kind of go into the slot. So that's one secure. We will do the same thing on the other side. It's all secure. And to unlock them, you just press this button and pull it out. And that completes the infant seat assembly. Alright, for the next step, we're gonna need two parts. So if you look down here, here's the youth chair. 
and here's the infant chair we just recently assembled. We're gonna need those two parts and put it together. So first, just grab the uh, infant chair, and there are there are few grooves down here for this slot to slide in right here. So all you're gonna do is line those two up on each side, and then push it in, and it'll click. And that completes this assembly right here. For the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert this tray into infant chair. Uh, there are two rollers right here. You're gonna slide those roller down into this slot on each side, and it should snap in. Just slide it in, and that's done. All right, so there are one button right here. What that does is basically, once you push that button, you'll be able to slide this entire tray towards the seat and that would uh, lock in in that position. Also, what this button do is if you push all the way in, you should be able to take the entire tray out. Now, there are two red knobs right here, and I'll show you what those two do. So let me put this back in real quick. When you push those two red knobs, I just showed you a second ago, you should be able to take this big tray out, and there's a smaller tray underneath it. And then, to put it back, you simply Pull those two red knobs and push it in and you can go. So now I have the basket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how where to insert this basket. In order to do that, I'm gonna turn this chair around. There are there are two slots right here. One right here, and then there's another one right here. So I'm gonna simply just slide, line it up the, the bar with the slot and slide it all the way down. And that should click in. Click in. There you go. That one clicked in. And there you go. That's another one. All right, that completes the uh, infant chair assembly. Next, we're gonna move on to the uh, toddler booster seat. Here's the uh, toddler booster seat. Simply this just straps onto the regular chair and you're gonna use this strap to secure the uh, booster onto the chair. Once you do that, there's uh, this piece right here, which is a bag for the booster seat. All you do is squeeze this red button and insert it into either this slot or the, there are two position slot right here. The, the front and back. I'm just gonna insert it on the very far back one. Simply pull this red button and insert it. And that should just slide in and let it go and that should lock it. That completes this booster seat. All right, there you go. Um, that completes our uh, infant chair, high chair assembly. And that wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. So I'll bring more videos of unboxing of other stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thank you guys.